Okay, I think we are just about ready. Well, does anybody know what's happening today? Today is Sabbath, we know that for sure. But there's something else special about this Sabbath. Does anybody know what's special about this Sabbath? Yes. That's right, we call it communion. Communion. If you look behind you, you'll see that. Okay, you know what's in there? That is our sacraments. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, kind of. We call <laughs> Anyway, when I was planning the children's story today, I really, really wanted to emphasize on um, communion. Um, I think most of you guys have been here before during our communion services. So you probably know what's going to happen. But for the ones that doesn't, I really want to emphasize on it. But sad to say, <laughs> the only books we, <laughs> we were able to find here in the library is this. And by the looks of it, it's pretty outdated. I mean, you know, you can see here, I think it was written like in 1970. <laughs> I don't think, yeah. <laughs> A few of us out there were born, born before 1970, but none of you guys. But anyway, I'm going to use this as kind of an illustration, okay? You can see this little girl here, and everybody else can see it. Anyway, this little girl here, her uncle was getting ready to get baptized. Has anybody ever seen a baptism here? Yeah. Right behind us is our baptism tank, and we fill that up with water, and that's where we have our baptisms out. Well, this little girl, she had an uncle, and his name was Mike. And he decided to get baptized, to give his life over to Jesus. Isn't that neat? Well, before Uncle Mike did that, he was such an angry guy. He never really smiled much. But then he gave his heart to the Lord. And suddenly he got this big smile. And it was awesome. Well, this special Sabbath, Uncle Mike was getting baptized. And... and Little Sarah here, she was helping her mom prepare a special meal for Uncle Mike after his baptism. They wanted to celebrate. So she was doing all the things that needed to be done to prepare a nice dinner for Uncle Mike. So then Sarah started asking as well, Mom, you know, we're doing all these things for Uncle Mike and his baptism. Does that mean he's going to be a changed person? She goes, well, yes. He gave his life to Jesus. Why don't you ask Uncle Mike about it? So when she seen Uncle Mike, she started asking him all these questions. And she said, wow, the Lord really changed you? Did When you dipped into the baptism, did you come out a new person? You, and he said, well, yes, I did. I did the baptism to show Jesus, how much I loved him and washed away my sins. And he cleansed me not only from the outside, but from the inside. Isn't that a neat thing? Well, then she started thinking. Well, that was a sign to show our love to Jesus. And we have another sign, which we are going to do today. And it's called communion. And they celebrate their first communion back when Jesus was alive and they did the Lord's Supper. Like I said, this is not the best illustration, but anyway, we're going to, we're going to try, okay? <laughs> I don't want to leave out anything here. Anyway, this was at the Lord's Supper and they were all getting ready to eat a special feast because they used to celebrate a thing called Passover. And Jesus and his disciples got together, and they were going to celebrate Passover. They had all the food prepared. They had everything ready to go. They were all sitting down, kind of lounging on their seats, ready to eat. But you know what they forgot to do? See, back then, when they got together, before they ate a meal, they would always have a thing to wash their hands. You make sure you're clean hands. That's a good thing. But they also did a thing called washing their feet. And you know why? Because back then, they didn't have paved roads like us. And they walked around everywhere in sandals like I have one. 
and their feet would get so dirty. So it was a custom for them to get together and wash their feet before a meal for cleanliness too. But everybody was so busy planning this special meal that they didn't assign anybody to wash their feet. So they're all sitting there looking at one another and they're like, hmm, ah, maybe he'll get up there and do it. No, no, maybe he'll do it. And then suddenly Jesus got up and he took off his outer cloak, wrapped a towel around himself, and started going over and washing every one of his disciples' feet. Isn't that amazing? And they're all like, oh, they were kind of embarrassed. They're like, oh, why didn't I think of that? I should have done that. But they didn't. Jesus did it. But he did it as a sign. He did it as a sign because he wanted them to remember him. When he come back, when he comes back for us, he wants us to remember this special moment. So see here, this is like, you know, this is what they're getting ready to do. This is what the adults are getting ready to do. And some of you might even do it. This is foot washing that we do in remembrance of how Jesus humbled himself and washed his disciples' feet. We are to humble ourselves and to wash each other's feet also to show that we are all together in one big family in Jesus' family. See how they did that? See, they have their basin, which we will do similar to it also. And let's see here. Here we go. Here we go. Also, he passed out this bread. It's an unleavened bread like a cracker that we pass out. And he said that in remembrance for his body, how he sacrificed for us, that it was his bones. And then here is our wine, which we drink a grape juice that's all fermented. And he says, remember this, for my blood, I sacrifice my blood for you. So this is why we do this. We do this about every 13th Sabbath to remember Jesus, how he gave the ultimate sacrifice to all of us. And this is why we do it. And this is a special thing that he did. And Uncle Mike told her about this, that we do this so we can remember each time. That way we don't forget the ultimate sacrifice. Now, I have here also. Let's see here. Now, my mother prepares this about every 13th Sabbath. And this is what we call communion bread. I know you guys probably seen this, okay? And this is what we're gonna partake with. Now, this has not been blessed. This is not special. This has not been blessed, okay? Once it's been blessed, then it is special. It represents Jesus' body, okay? So this is just common, ordinary, unleavened wheat bread, okay? So I wanna emphasize that, that, I, that this is not. So if you would like to, Try it, okay? So when you guys get older, you will know what it's about, what it's going to be about. But this is not blessed, okay? So it's okay to partake with it. But once we bless it, then you got to know what it stands for. And when you get older, some of you are already understand why we partake in communion. So if you would like to try this, you can take one, okay? And remember, this is not the blessed one, okay? All right, here we go. Thank you. You could go back to your seats now.